Yo, 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 what's happening, people? Kit man and man, I am back outside. I'm outside the Emirates today. Final game of the season, Arsenal versus Everton. And top four is out of our hands. We are hoping that Norwich can do us a favour. And by the time this comes out, we will know what's happened, whether Arsenal in the Champions League or if we're not, right? And I'm just here to do a quick end of season review with some fans and see what their actual feelings are, how this season has gone before the game. So it's completely objective, right? Whether we end up in the Champions League or not. So before I get all the way into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like it, turn on the bell notification, and as always, just enjoy the video, man. Let's go. My first batch of fans, right, for this end of season review. And I've just got some real quick questions. Just how you think the season has gone. What's your name, bro? Clifton. Clifton. Nice to meet you, Clifton. It's a pleasure. Right. Louis, mate. Louis. Louis. Jax. Jax. Yeah. Nice to meet you, bro. Uh, how you doing, my bro? What's your name? Very well. Oni. Oni. Yes. Nice to meet you, bro. The first question is, what were your expectations before the season started? Where do you think we was going to finish? I thought we were going to do shit, to be honest. Yeah, well, what, like, if you had to put a number on what position? Seven. That would have been an improvement on the season, two seasons before that. What about you? Agreed, seventh. Yeah, like seven, eighth. Probably like fifth. Fifth? Yeah. Which is probably what we're going to finish. Yeah. Come on, Norwich. Yeah, well, you know, I was, I was hopeful of European football, so I was thinking fifth. Fifth or higher. You know, okay. trust the process. What were your expectations of the season before it started? Arteta had minimum fourth, only because He's playing once a week. The targets throughout the season that I personally set, he hit them, which was fourth at Christmas. No, after the three games, it was give him 10 games. Then when we hit Christmas, he was fourth. Then I wanted him to be within three games of fourth at the end of the season. And what? They gave him a new contract at five. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I hear you. So, next season, I think Europa League is his standard. What, to win it? No, you know, to navigate Europe. Yeah. Because this year, he had to get used to getting points. And he got the points. What were your expectations before this season kicked off? I mean, before the season kicked off, I, was not, I wasn't expecting Champions League, to be honest. But I was expecting maybe fifth, sixth, pushing for it. So, I'm happy in that sense. Well, I'm not happy. The last few games could have picked up more points. But so so close yeah. and maybe yet so far. Okay. What were your expectations of the season before you start? Where did you think Arsenal would finish? Now, to be honest, I was expecting Arsenal to finish like in sixth place, fifth place, to be honest. What was your expectations of uh, this season before it started? To be honest, I mean, what happened the last few seasons, I thought, OK, you know what? Top five, top six, if we can push for top four, but top six, to be honest. I'm back in Europe. Do you trust the process? Do you think we've showed improvements? Yeah. 100%. Bro, it's the hope that kills you, man. It's the hope that kills you. The, no, no, the fact that we didn't sign anyone in January was poor. But I don't know. I, I do trust the process because if you think after the first three games of the season, sitting in 20th place, I mean, if, you, if I offered you fifth then, you would have taken it, right? Big fact. Do you trust the process? I want to win now. I'm 59. I ain't got no time. <laughs> I ain't got no time for the for the process. I need to win now. So does that mean you don't trust the process? It the, look, it's it, it, the process now is to get quality players so that we can kick on. So you mean as in next? So you mean what? As in two seasons you want to be? No, 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 no. Oh, now. next season you want to yeah. be challenging for the Premier League? The, no, no, not for the Premier League. We're not. We're not nowhere okay. near that. Let's keep it real. Yeah, yeah. But to stay fourth okay. and be in the Champions League. And you League, believe that that can happen? Yes, it can. Do you trust the process? Of course. I think since the start of the season, we showed it's a process to be trusted. We turned it around. To be honest, first month, I thought we were going bottom half. So um, I'm trusting it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Right. Do you trust the process? Uh, I believe like the way Arteta managed the players. I think he introduced them some mindsets in the pitch that they, could, they couldn't improve themselves as players because I think they, 
it was a bit they they went a bit like uh, you know in type what, what I can say they was like down maybe I don't know uh, sometimes the expression doesn't come out that's the problem <laughs> say in Portuguese I've got you in Portuguese yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no I, I, I was I was I don't know what I was thinking ele trouxe uma, uma mentalidade para os jogadores que, que é possível jogar, meteu tática no jogo, ensinou-os a, a trabalhar em a equipa, porque havia um, um bocado de individualismo na equipa. I'm lost, but someone watching will understand exactly what you said and hopefully YouTube will translate. Não, mas ele, 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 ele turns the team to a group and uh, I okay. think the group is much better. Even anyway, I'm a very fan of Obama Young. I think the good thing when Obama Young left in the middle of the season was a uh, Uh, big thing because the team was focused on him. I think most of the team was focused on him. And when he left, unfortunately, they <laughs> didn't like it. But uh, yeah, yeah. All right. uh, he went. The team start to improve. Yeah, so we will start to play. You can see even the games. Saka was uh, increased a lot to be to be. He stepped up. Uh, Smith Rowe as well. He, he showed a big progress in the pitch. So yeah. Next question: Do you trust the process? Yeah, we have to. I mean, Arteta's won two trophies. Um, he's took us out of Europe, but we're now back into Europe. So we have to trust the process or we're going to end up like Man United with a manager every two seasons and going back and forth, going back and forth. I've got no choice but to trust the process. Arteta in or Arteta out? Arteta in. Arteta in. Bro. You're not allowed to see on the fence. Out, out, bro. In. Out. Arteta in or Arteta right? Is Arteta the guy to do it for us? I'm going to be controversial here. Yeah. I wanted Vieira. Yeah. That, that might be However, line. yeah, but you know, you go with what you got. So, yeah, I'll take him for next season. Arteta in or Arteta out? Arteta in. Yeah. All right. Arteta in or Arteta out? Uh, I will let him in. For maybe like two or three seasons because I think in life we need process to achieve our goals and everything is not a big thing especially your manager this is your job and all big the, the owners they want like big results at the same time but life is not like that man even you to to do your things down or whatever any person to get these things done they need time and process I think he's doing a good job they need just to get some good players question <laughs> Arteta in or Arteta out he's got he's got to be in He's got trophies, he's got um, experience, you've got to trust him, innit? So, how long does he get into next season if it's not going too well? I mean, next season the focus has to be top four and win UEFA Cup. Anything less than that, then, you know what I mean? You can hear the fans, it's about to kick off. What was your highlight of the season? Highlight of the season? Probably the Man, uh, Man United match. What, where we beat him and Bruno missed that penalty? Wolves games at Emirates. Right. Has to be Wolves, man. Wolves, 100%. Has to be Wolves. Oh, that Chelsea game. Chelsea, yeah. That was a highlight. What about beating the Spuds here, 3-1? And going 3-0 yeah. up at half-time? Yeah. By the way, I was there. I vlogged that game. Yeah, I'm going to put it up here somewhere. Yeah? Click that and watch that. Go subscribe. Right? Yeah, subscribe. Right. What was your highlight of the season? Wolves away. What was your highlight of the season? Highlight of the season was probably 2-1 Wolves. Uh, Everyone said that. Fucking insane. I've never seen that sort of atmosphere in a fucking midweek game. 2-1, it was insane. All right. What was your highlight of the season? Your favorite moment? Oh, my highlight of the season. It's a good question. Uh, I think it was that win. Uh, I think was win against Tottenham, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3-1. Yeah, I think where we smashed them right yeah, yeah, after losing the, three games. Yeah, I think it was the, the big the big thing for me. What was your highlight of the season? Highlight of the season. Uh, I would say winning three games in a row against Chelsea, Man United and West Ham. That's what was your low light of the season? The worst moment of the season for you? Newcastle away. Newcastle, 100%. Right. 100%. Spurs 3-0. Yeah, Spurs 3-0 was hard. Uh, yeah, it's got to be the derby. All right, what was your lowest point of this oh, season? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, no, you got yeah, Tottenham. Low light of the season. Low light of the season? Probably Tottenham. 
I'm sure everyone said that. Sorry, I'm sure everyone said that. No, but, but it was it was a low. What was your worst moment of the season? <laughs> the worst moment. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe last couple of weeks, these yeah. two games, then we lost because uh, my expectation was very high, so we can reach the Champions League. But it was like uh, we we lost. Anyway, it's almost. We'll see. All Tottenham will lose. Yeah, today. come on, Norwich. Yeah. What was your low light of the season? <laughs> Losing to Tottenham, the scumbags. That that was a low one. Because I was getting bantered left, right and centre, man. I, I, I hear that. Player of the season. Saka. Yeah, that's a fair. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, you got the new one. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, pause. Just step forward and centre. Let, let's see this new one. Because as much as this is about football in general and Arsenal, I'm a shirt man. Yeah, and I can't wait to get my hands on that on the 1st of September when I know where everyone's going to be. Uh, player of the season. Erdegaard. Sound, he has been sound. Saka. Saka? Yeah, it's got to be Saka. Player of the season. Gabriel. Yeah, well, uh, Gabriel, defender Gabriel. Yeah. He's been no, solid. He, he puts in a shift. And I'd give a good second to Ben White. I don't, think the, I don't think the forwards have really helped their core. Player of the season. Player of the season. I think I'm going to go Saka, probably. Or Martinelli. Yeah. He turned up. Yeah, no, no, those two definitely turned up. Who was your player of the season? Your favourite player of the season? Nah, to be honest, to me, the players of the season. I'm going, I'm going to party. I think party. He, people was criticizing a lot. Uh, I think he show up in the right moment. He, he start even after January he start to show how to contain the team and press the ball and progress the ball. Yeah, he was. He was I think but he been injured and we missed him. Yeah. Who was your player of the season? Without any shadow of a doubt, Saka. Saka carried the team. The worst player of the season. Pepe or Nuno Tavares? Nuno yeah, Tavares. Fucking Nuno. Shit. Nuno. Fuck Nuno. Well, after, but after the first couple of games, everyone was like, oh, nah. get rid of Tierney. Tierney's all right, he can stay injured. Nuno Tavares. Nuno Tavares. Yeah. Nah. It's got to be Cedric. It's got to be Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> I send him home. N not Pepe. Uh, Pepe hasn't really played that much. Pepe came on Wolves game, scored and assisted. Worst player of the season. No, I'm not going to go there. No, that's fair. No, I'm not gonna no, 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 that's fair. Worst player of the season. I think this guy gets a lot of hate, Cedric, but um, he's had his moments, but he's too inconsistent to be a regular fullback for us. So, so you're gonna go Cedric, yeah? I'm gonna go Cedric. Who is your worst player of the season? Worst player. Yeah. Cedric Pepe. Pepe, yeah, Pepe. Nuno Tavares. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't say Nuno Tavares. <laughs> <laughs> no, he Portuguese. I know, I know, I know. I already said uh, it. I, I, will, I will, maybe, I will go to, because maybe, I don't know, man. I don't like to talk about bad things. Negative. Okay, that's fine. Worst player of the season. You know what? I don't think we've had a worst player this season. I don't think. There hasn't been like a Mustafi. No, but I think um, when he was, Ab Abamyang, when he was there, he didn't pull up his socks enough. His attitude kind of wasn't that great. So, but I wouldn't call him the worst. We didn't have any worst players. Most improved player this season. El Nene. Has Smith to be El Nene. Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe. Easy. Yeah, Smith Rowe. And, and Katia. Yeah, and Katia. Yeah. Katia. Most improved player this season. Um, most improved play Martinelli. Yeah, he's put numbers on the board. Martin, yeah. Most improved player this season. Most improved, I'm gonna say Xhaka, because um. He he was in the mud, weren't he? Yeah, I thought he's a fucking liability. Get him out. This guy's just gonna get a red card every other game, but he's definitely been our best CDM this season. Consistent. Yeah. He's Not injured. Solid. Yeah. Most improved player. I definitely Saka. I think he got more strange. He's more. He's got more focus in what he has to do and uh, 
he's gonna be the top player in a couple of two or three years if, if he keeps doing Most improved player this season. Wow, good question. Most improved. Wow, most improved. Who's been the most improved? I think Jack has improved, you know. Yeah, you're not the first person to say that. Yeah, in the last 10 games, I think Jack has improved. Granite Xhaka, should he stay or should he go? Stay, he fights for the badge. Let him stay, but sign someone else. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, keep it. Keep it. Ranit Xhaka, do you want to see him stay or do you want to see him go? I think there's better out there. I think there's better out there. So does that mean we sell him and we get someone to replace him, or do we keep him and get someone that's better than him? So Granit Xhaka comes off the bench, or is I think there's better out there. However, if we have to keep him, we have to keep him All because right. they haven't done their due diligence. So Granit Xhaka to stay or to go? Uh, I think he's got a couple more years in him. To be honest, I think compared to what he was a couple years ago, he's a lot more key for our team. If we want to get Champions League next year, I think we have to keep him instead of relying on like. Our nanny and party in midfield. So you're saying sign someone and then also have him as a secondary option, is that basically? Yeah, what I mean we, we also got Sambi, so um, yeah, man. hopefully next year when he's a bit older he can play more of a role. Granite Xhaka to stay or Granite Xhaka to go? Xhaka for me, I, I think he needs to go. I don't want, I'm personal, he's very. I think he, he wants to be in control of the team and it's not good for a player to be the main man of the team. Granit Xhaka to stay or Granit Xhaka to go? Wow. Well, we need two defensive kind of midfielders. If we don't get it, he's got to stay. Same question for Eddie Nketiah. Is it the same answer? Sell him. Sell him and sign someone. We, we ain't getting Champions League with Nketiah, bro. Yeah, Nketiah, go on. <laughs> Sell him to West Ham or something. So the what, hype, everyone, the hype's up Nketiah now. Out. Yeah, the hype's up now, so we'll go for that. Yeah, Nketiah out. Nah, yo, Fifty million. Question for Eddie and He's got to go. Fair enough. Unless, unless he wants to be a squad player. Yeah, that's fair. If he's a squad player, pay him. But they have to be up front with Eddie. Say, yo, he's a squad player. We're gonna look for number one. Same question goes for Nketiah. Keep or sell him or keep him. Uh. I think I just don't think I just I think he's still he's still getting in that flow of things. He's now kind of handling the Premier League key. Like a couple years back before he wasn't up to it. I think now he's good. I think we should keep him, yeah. What about Eddie and Ketia? Same question. Stay or go? Eddie he didn't stay. Okay. He's one of the players we improved. Uh, uh, he's been amazing in the last two months, three months, he was Amazing. And Ketia, same question. Stay or go? 100% stay, and then we have to buy two strikers. So, so you're going to be fair trades. Right. What is the position that we need to strengthen the most in the summer? Defense. Defense. Oh, defense has been terrible lately. Terrible. But that's injuries. That's. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's injuries. I'm saying striker. No, no, but your opinion is your opinion. Yeah, I'm saying Darwin Nunes, striker. That's yeah, striker, bro. Striker. We need a big, beefy striker in the box. Is the most important signing we're gonna we have to make this season. Striker. A striker. Not not a centre mid. A mob. Um, um, as I said, if it's Zaka and if it's Zaka and Partey, if we can get better, replace them. What's the most important signing we can make this season? What position? Striker. Do you have a name that you would like to see? Hundred percent, Tammy Abraham. Come to Arsenal, mate. We need you. What's the most important position for Arsenal to sign in the uh, summer? Oh, uh, good question. I, I will go maybe uh, a good striker. I think we need a good striker, a proper striker. We need goals. Uh, uh, Lacazette, I think, is, is, uh, his age is, is causing like... Uh, yeah, I, I think he's on his way out. Yeah, yeah. So I All right, then. We need a striker plus maybe... A uh, main man, a main man in a central back as well. What is the most important signing Arsenal can make this summer? Is it striker, midfielder, defender? Signing or signings? Signing. If we can only pick one, the most important. What do you think that is? A number nine centre forward. Final question: If you had to rate this season out of ten, I know it's been up and down and disappointing, but if you had to rate it out of ten, what would you give 
this season? Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Seven. Uh, we've had some big wins, but some terrible losses. So like seven, seven-ish. Seven. I mean, that's quite high. Because when you took Ruge objectively and forget about the fact that we had it so close, we've actually had, we've improved, haven't we? Yeah, man. All right, that's it, boys. Thank you very much. Last question. If you had to rank this season out of 10, what would you give it? I'd give him a six and a half. That's fair. A six and a half. That's fair, man. However, today, I'm happy. No, that's good. And obviously Norwich can try and do us a little favour. Listen, I just want to win the last home game, cheer them off, have a good holiday, and let's get to business for next season. That's it, man. <laughs> My bro, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Bro. Thank you. Last question. What's your overall rating out of 10 for this season? Uh, I'll go 7.5, 8. Consistent. Yeah, yeah. Everyone said the same thing. Yeah. All right, bro. Louis, thank you very much, man. What about your overall rating? If you have to rank the season from 1 to 10, 1 being uh, terrible and 10 being the best season we can imagine, what do you reckon? No, I'll go to 8. Even if we don't finish top four, you say eight. I think eight because you can see what United is doing. So uh, you know, comparing with the with the players and etc. I think Arsenal improved a lot and since January. So I think Arteta, all the board directors, they're doing, they're trying to do a good job for the team. So we'll see. That's fair, man. Hey, that's all the questions, my bro. Thank you very much. Final question: What would you rate this season out of ten? Well, if we get in the Champions League, 10 out of 10. But honestly, I say 7.5. So, 2.5% is attributed to whether Norwich can do the thing or not? 100%. If we get in Champions League, it's 9.9 .9 out of 10. If not, 7.5 is what it is. Ah, oh, bro. That's it, man. Thank you very much. Nice one. So, yeah, me like an idiot, as usual, I forget to record the outro whilst I'm out and about. So, thank you very much for watching the video. Yeah, make sure you like, Subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification. And until next time, I have been Kip Man and Man. Peace.